Alex Green, First Lieutenant at Chica Fire Brigade. We've had a little bit of moisture come from various places around town, so uh, we have had the floods that came through Rochester up the Camp Aspie and then came in last weekend. So they came through the centre of town, so we madly sad, but sandbagged beforehand. We had an expected river height of 95.65 and we ended up at 96.25, so 600 mil over the prediction, so we had a little bit of a fight there. We were in there fighting, monitoring the levels, pumping out water as we went and the water came behind and uh, beat us for a little while. There were a few tears shed. Um, but we managed to get back in there with a strike team of heavy pumpers, pump out all the water and we managed to save houses. We've had multiple strike teams come up in uh, heavy tankers, medium tankers. We've even got an FCV strike team up here at the moment. This could be an issue for anywhere up to five weeks. So uh, it's going to be a constant battle. Uh, we've called for pumps from all over the state. Uh, we're putting them in strategic places around town and we're also putting strategic caches of sandbags. So if we do have a blowout or anything else, we can try and fix it, pump it out and move on to the next one. Just the community have been absolutely astounding. They've come out in spades and delivered. Every time I put up a Facebook post asking for help to sandbag something, they're there. We've got half the town. Half the town's evacuated, the other half are helping us. So it's just been amazing. So Luke Waterson's my name. Uh, my rank is uh, Acting Commander for Fire Rescue Victoria in the built environment. My role at this incident is Sector Commander for the Echuca Sector. So the resources that we have here at the moment, this is a multi-agency um, event. Um, we've got SES, we've got CFA, we've got Fire Rescue Victoria, we've got Life Saving, we've got, um, we've got Mines Rescue from Fosterville, uh, I'm going to miss someone here, Keith, but we've got uh, nearly everybody with a badge on their shoulders. I just noticed some New South Wales fisheries or Victorian fisheries um, come walking through the, the fire station. Yeah, if, if, you, if you've worn a badge for the state of Victoria, they've probably been in Echuca at some stage. ADF have been a massive presence here. Uh, Victoria Police has been a massive presence as well. Originally, when we first knew of this water event coming along the Murray River, coinciding with the Compaspe um, River water event and also the forecasted rain, we were given a tight timeline of Wednesday afternoon for the high water mark, which meant that we had to act and act fast. And when I say act fast, we've been able to build a two and a half kilometre long mineral earth levee with excavators and bulldozers and dump trucks in 48 hours. At the same time, we've been able to build um, probably the same distance, if not greater, sandbag levee along, an, along the Compaspe throughout residential Echuca and out in the east of Echuca around the floodplains to the east. Yeah, so I'm, um, I'm being massively supported by the Instant Control Centre in Bendigo, uh, led by the Instant Control team. Um, Mark Attell and Les Veering, Greg Murphy are some of the incident controllers that have been in that uh, incident control team um, and have supported me greatly um, with the advice from our flood planners and all our uh, uh, stakeholders. Um, they've given us the support to mitigate the risks, to learn from the lessons of other towns that uh, uh, weren't as lucky as us. But when we put in the request and when the information from our stakeholders was known, the, the challenges and the risks that are associated with uh, this high water level and the, and the impending rain coming through, um, strike teams have been able to assemble from nearly all over Victoria, um, which has been really, really impressive given the fact that some of these strike teams have come from places that have had their own weather events and have had to, um, had to pick up and move on straight away again. So it's, it's been really good. Hello, uh, my name's Shane Addison. I'm from Scoresby Fire Brigade. And in the background here, we've got Scoresby Hose Lab. We were called up to Echuca yesterday to help with the uh, emergency flood relief and to work with local uh, CFA and SES crews in trying to mitigate that flood risk. Our whole purpose here is to uh, provide the hose and we've got 2.3 kilometres of 100 mil hose on board and work with uh, FRV pumper strike teams. And if the water does breach or we have rainfall 
inside the uh, safe area, we can pump it back out into the river. So that is essentially our task and we've been doing some pumping today and we've moved already about uh, one megalitre or one million litres of water just to see, make sure we can uh, move it and uh, the hose lay will be here until Tuesday next week or longer if required. All I can say is if you're at a job and you're thinking about how are we going to move that water and uh, do we need bigger hose, make that call in the Firecom and uh, request the resource. We normally travel right throughout Victoria, but it's the only uh, hose layer that CFA has and we'd like to see it utilised a lot more because we know the value that it can add. Yes, I'm Peter Leach, a volunteer from the Wangaratta Fire Brigade and currently one of the team members and team leaders of the Wangaratta Mobile Command Van. So we've been, for the last uh, three days, we've been working out of Shepparton uh, with the floods, with the strike team. Uh, then we've been redeployed today up to Rochester to uh, assist with uh, strike teams working in this area. We're doing um, radio communications um, and logging uh, work that they've been doing. Um, and so, uh, you know, they've been doing everything from welfare checks to uh, delivering sandbags, delivering medicines, delivering food. So, um, yeah, so we just uh, been coordinating uh, that with all the strike teams. And it would be remiss of me not to touch on the amount of donations and support we've had from not just local business businesses, but businesses indeed throughout the state and Australia. Um, we've had offers of pumps, we've had offers of food, we've had offers of diesel, we've had offers of everything you can think of to help mitigate this risk and to keep our crews going uh, and, and it's, it's, it's amazing, it's amazing. Um, we've had 16 three inch quick fill pumps being donated which the DMOs are working on right at the moment to make them um, fit and ready for pumping um, should we need it and definitely when we move into the recovery phase.